composition. So meaning it literally goes either on the temperature change to change its form, but that way no other chemicals are added to it. So in order to go from a solid to a liquid, the item needs to melt. In order to go from a liquid to a gas, the, the item needs to boil. And in order to go from a gas to a solid, the item has to go through something called So today we're going to be doing those last two. So you guys have probably seen boiling water like on a stove and melting. So, so today we're doing sublimation. So we're going to go from a solid to a gas and we're doing condensation to gas to a liquid. So, yeah, with dry ice. So up here for the condensation, we're going to have some salt water and some dry ice. First, dry ice. All right, kids, put on gloves. Be safe. Give me it, give me it, please. How many do we need? How many do we need? How many do we need? Just uh, two bucks. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm really These gloves are kind of perfect. They're kind of big, they're kind of small. Perfect. Bro, that's too tight on me. That's why. I'm gonna keep these all. Some more water. water. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happens when you put salt into water? Yeah, it's gonna make it salty. It's gonna make it salty. Yeah, exactly. Salty yeah. yeah. springs for Fortnite. But having salt in water also lowers the freezing temperature of water, so it doesn't freeze that quickly. It stays liquid. Alright, okay, so you wanna have them? Do it? Yeah. Alright, bud. So somebody can hold the test. Hang on to that? Alright. Now pour the water yeah. in the test tube. Not all of it. So yeah, just a bit. Little bit. All right, oh, there you go. Oh, all right, look at that. Turn into gas. Right? We have a solid going straight to gas. It's actually coming a liquid. So we then, want to touch. Yeah, you pass it around. That's show everybody. Yeah, that's cold. So it's that that's cold. cold. So yeah, don't hold it for too long. You can also be outside of it. Is it plastic? Pass it on, pass it on now. Moist. Moist. Don't <laughs> oh, 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 give everybody a little bit of balloon. Just give everyone one. Yeah. Here, take one. All right, pass it around. Be careful. Don't hold it by the bottom. Hold it from the top. Hold it from the top. Hold it from the top. That was cold. One more, got more. Now everybody just take one. Oh, okay, go, 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 go. And you can see what happens if you put a balloon on the top. So somebody can hold the test tube. So, next so you can like do little groups. Oh, so we're going to put water inside one of the tubes. Oh, I want it. I want it. Right? Here, you guys. There you go. Cool. Okay. It's not that cold anymore. Yeah, it's not as cold as it was. In the balloon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to pass out the balloon. Anyone want to do it for? All right, so now we got our water in the middle. So, but you got to be quick. So you can pour some water in the test tube and then get your balloon over the top of the test tube. You got to be fast. So you might want to do it in like two. I keep doing it right now. Yeah. I think we should do it in pairs. And then look at that. The gas goes into the balloon. You gotta pour the water in first. I, my, my balloon has a hole in it. My balloon's too thick. You gotta stretch it. It might be easier to do it in pairs, yeah. Yeah. I'll put it in the water. Oh, there you go. Or we can just help him, yeah. So here, yeah. Yeah. I'll pour some water and then you put the balloon on top as soon as I pour it in, okay? It'll work, you just gotta stretch it. Wait, let me pour in water first though. Let me help you out. Let me pour in some water and then as soon as I pour it in, get the balloon on top. You got it. Okay. Alright, so I'll pour some water in and then you get the balloon. 
in the real world for how things like that happen. Like steam engines are run off of pressure. Um, hydraulic things like tubing and pipes and all that, that's all through pressure differences and all of that cool stuff. You guys ever touch the side and you know how it gets like really cold and kind of wet on the side of the, the cup? Right? It makes you thirsty. Why is this cold? What? I want a bigger one. Yeah, it's all frozen over. It's all getting cold on the outside. You can see the ice there. It's all frozen stuff on the side. Oh, man. That is what I'm going to do. I don't know. It's a good experiment. This side. Can you drink the test, dude? Nice. Oh, 